Hey everyone, this is Greg from AI Light Show. In this video, I'm going to be configuring and saving off the DMX profile for our Sheds 19 by 15 watt RGBW zoom moving heads using the Force 1.0 app. Now, first things first, you need to go into your user's manual for your fixture. In this case, for these fixtures, they have a 24 channel DMX personality, which is what we're going to use. Now in the Force 1.0 app, you wanna go into DMX profiles. You wanna hit the add button. You wanna give this a name. So these are the Sheds 19 by 15 watt RGBW zoom. And we're using a 24 channel DMX personality here. So that's 24 total channels. All right, channel one, two, three, and four is your pan, pan fine, tilt, and tilt fine channels. So we want to set lighting element type to none. Want to add channel. Want to pick pan. This is a coarse resolution channel. Want to have pan fine coarse resolution channel on two. And we want to do the same thing for tilt. So we have coarse. and then tilt fine. All right, then we have X, Y speed adjustment. So this is essentially the speed of your moving heads. And this is something we want to set to a static value. And we want to set this to the fastest speed possible out of the fixture because the Force 1.0 will control the rate of the speed of movement internally itself. And a static value of zero is what sets the fastest speed option for this fixture, so that is correct. Channel six is a focus channel. So we want to add definitely dynamic control here. We want the Force 1.0 to control the focus of the light output. And we want to leave this alone because I like to have the full dynamic range of control for the focus. And we want this to be active when the Force 1.0 is generating both max and mood based effects. All right, so we'll leave the default alone. Channel seven is total light adjustment and that is essentially a dimmer channel. So we want to add a dimmer channel here. And this is a coarse control channel. All right, eight is strobe. We do not want the fixture itself to be controlling the rate of any strobe or doing any internal strobing itself. This is a feature we want to shut off. So on strobe, this is going to be a static channel value that never changes. We're going to set this to zero. That will, that will eliminate any strobing that's controlled from the fixture internally itself. And then we have from channels nine through channel 20 are the three RGB white LED sections of the fixture. Three sections which are independently controlled, each being red, green, blue, white. So what we'll do here is set RGBW under lighting element type. And I will use the auto fill channels control feature. This is definitely the easiest way to do this. So we're starting at channel nine, pixel number, we're starting from one and there's three total lighting sections here, each being coarse. We don't have coarse and fine. So we're gonna auto fill. That'll immediately fill in channels nine through 20. All right, and then channel 21 is an internal program based channel. We wanna shut that feature off. So this is definitely going to be a static channel. All right, so first what we have to do is we have to turn off the lighting element type selection to none. And then what we can do is we can add this to be a static value. So this is some internal function of the fixture. So we can select that. And you wanna set this to a static value that disables that feature. In this case, a value of zero is correct. And channels 22, 23, and 24 are the same thing. They're internal functions of the device and we wanna deactivate them. And values of zero will do that correctly. So another internal function channel, default static value of zero is correct. Channel three, channel 23 is also zero. And channel 24 is also an internal function and we wanna turn this to zero. All right, so we are all done. Hit save. This fixture profile has been saved and we can see it under our database right here.